What is up guys and girls? Today I'm going to be talking about five mistakes you are making when you're trying to sell your car online. You know, recently I've been searching for a car, new car, and I've come into a lot of things that people are doing that are just not going to help you sell your car. So today I'm going to go over those things and kind of talk about some of my experiences and I uh, hope you like it. Okay, number five. We're going to start with one of the mo most important parts of selling your car online. The pictures. Take good pictures. <laughs> Do not leave out certain areas of the car that you because they, they're bad or you just forgot to. It's not going to help you sell the car. It makes you look like you have no idea what you're doing. Someone's not going to want to buy that car just because of that. Like I said, I've been looking for a new car and... I saw this one that had 30 pictures of the outside of the car and zero of the interior. And I thought that was completely ridiculous. Like, And they don't specify like what kind of options it has or anything like that. So it's really annoying, especially when you can't even see the interior to tell for yourself. Should I try sunglasses like Casey? Because uh, I keep on looking at the viewfinder and not directly at the camera. And this way you can't tell. Yeah, so just make sure you guys take really good photos. Any modern cell phone will take pretty good pictures. And just make sure you get the engine, the wheels, the inside, the outside, from the back, from the front, from the side to side. Okay, next, pretty obvious. Um, just the description. Just make sure you put, you know, the trim level of the car, what the car has done to it, if it has anything done to it, if it's stock, say it's stock. Um, you know, the mileage, do not try to hide the mileage, a lot of people try to do that, I don't know why, like, just say the mileage, you're, someone, if someone actually wants to buy it, they're gonna want to find out anyway, so might as well just tell them from the get-go, and don't waste anyone's time. This kind of goes with the mileage thing too, and you know, people will hide the mileage. Don't hide the price of the car, like, you don't need to do that. You know, your car can't be that expensive. And even if it was, people would want to know the price anyway. So don't try to hide it. You're not helping anyone. You're just making it more difficult. Like, call for price. No, we don't need to call you for the price. Tell us the price so we can decide if we are even interested or not. Back to the description. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's funny. When I was shopping for an Integra, I contacted this one guy. And I was asking a bunch of questions because his description was so bad that it didn't tell me anything about the car. So I'm questioning him, I'm drilling him with questions, and he gets he starts getting mad at like literally angry at me and saying, You know what, if you wanna go go buy a car, why don't you go to the dealer? I'm pretty sure they give you lunch too. All the bells and whistles in the world. And I'm like, okay, obviously you don't want to sell a car, whatever, dude. I wouldn't call me asking if there was air conditioning and power steering, bells and whistles. Oh yeah, by the way, my wrist is broken if you guys didn't know. Not fun. You know, another thing that's really important and really the last thing is just uh, make sure the car is clean when you take the pictures and clean when you go show it to people because a dirty car, you know, it just shows that you didn't care about it or didn't care after it at all. It just makes, it, makes you look like you didn't give a crap about the car. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, as always, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions or ideas of stuff you think I should do, just go pop them right down there in the comment section. And uh, you guys have a good one. Have a wonderful day. Peace.